Some more items from Benny's are up for auction. Online bidding is going on right now for things that were once part of the beloved retail chain, and we've learned some of them have a lot of history. TJ Del Santo got a look at some of the items and talked to a Benny's co-owner. What is believed to be the final auction of Benny's assets is taking place here at the main headquarters of Benny's. If you're looking for file cabinets, printers, or moose antlers, this may be your chance to get it cheap. Well, we're selling a lot of uh, our old office equipment, uh, computer equipment, uh, this odds and ends. This is expected to be the last auction for Benny's, a retail store founded in 1924, which saw the last of its stores close in December of 2017. It's last of a legacy here on these stores. Used to love these stores. This was our main distribution center and offices. Computer monitors, intercom systems, antique auto parts were all available to be inspected here at Benny's headquarters in Smithfield. Benny's memorabilia is also available, like this lot of paint stirrers. Some old uh, signs that used to hang in the departments of the stores, uh, some Benny shopping bags. Thousands of Benny's bags are available in paper and plastic. What may be the oldest item in the lot is this cash register from 1937, likely from the Park Avenue store. The inspection period is complete and people can now make bids online. For people like John Pereira from Lincoln, this is a sad day. It's a Rhode Island icon anyway, so we'll miss it. And the bidding ends at noon on Thursday for this final Benny's auction. I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.